Yeah. I'm all going to have a nervous breakdown. I know I've had a part in that as well. There was a few times where she was just quivering in the corner, pulling her hair out. <laughs> so thank you for, for, you know, for bringing everything together today and you know, making the trip across the world. It means a lot to so myself. Woo! such lovely people and welcome me into the family. Uh, I remember the first time I, I met your family, you know, I came into, into your house and uh, I remember Trev, I think he was about 17 years old and um, Still bigger than you. I, I was yeah. like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was kind of waiting for the, the intimidation to start and he just came up and said, hi Jack, and gave me a big hug. For about five seconds I was like, hi Trev, nice to meet you. He's like, yeah, welcome to the family. Okay. <laughs> 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 <Same question. laughs> Fantastic day, it's, it's been better than I ever could have imagined. Um, the thought of me getting married has never really crossed my mind until I met Morgan. Um, oh, it was the look of Pat come down his face. In Indonesia at uh, Paul's place. Woo! Uh, like, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Titch. Tea money. Tea money. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, Morgan, thank you for being my beautiful bride. <laughs> Um, I couldn't imagine to have my life any better this entire week. Oh, thank you for doing the So good evening ladies and gentlemen, Jack, well done on a fantastic speech, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how I'm going to follow that, because I don't know about news, I could not follow that. <laughs> Couldn't get a word, not a fucking clue, speak up next time. So, um, I'm just like a shit dog, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, I'm joking. Can I just ask everyone once more, and we've done it a couple of times, can we all just put our hands together for these two? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what an honour, and I mean, this, I mean this from deep down in my heart, what an honour it is to be stood in front of you guys here yeah, as, as Jack's best man. I mean, I've known him 30 years, and all those years ago, I mean, I never expected to be stood here, yeah, because, I mean, Gay, right? Look at him. Fuck you, man. Have you seen his head? So I can see a lot of familiar faces out there, it's not so familiar faces. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jack. I'm Danny. I've been friends with Jack since literally the day I was born, thanks in no small part to the friendship of our very radiant mothers, Joan and Stephanie. Everyone. Is Joan, is Joan still away? She is, she is, that's ten pounds, Jack, ten pounds. She's literally, I'm looking at her now, she's two gin and tonics away from the fucking... <laughs> Sambuk as I've ever had with him. <laughs> Fuck it, huh? So, as, as I mentioned, I've known Jack for 30 years now, and I honestly say, <coughs> great pride, I expected... I've already done that bit. No, I've done that bit, so I'll just skip past it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that all of you have noticed we've got some friends from over the pond, yeah? And I would just like, at this moment, to be a bit serious and just thank Ron and Linda for the generosity in making this happen. Ken, Lorna, amazing. Ron and Joe down at the end, thank you very much. Can I just say, two Rons don't make a right. <laughs> Morgan. So thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
So thank you very much for giving <laughs> my friend the jewel of your heart. Thank you very much for that, honestly. We've also got the lovely bridesmaids here. Yeah, we've got Jade, Taylor, Jenny, Noelle and Courtney. Okay, I had to write them down. Five! Five! Harry Morgan. See, everything, to be fair, everybody is bigger in Texas. So you need uh, so, Jack Miles. <laughs> Jack Miles. <laughs> Dark hair. Olive skin. Scottish? Not so sure. I mean, we all know that Jack has got a bit of an out there fashion sense. I've had to spend the past three weeks telling him you're not allowed to wear cowboy boots with a kilt. I spent the past 30 years telling him you're not allowed to wear cowboy boots. Oh, you moved to Texas, Ian? Right, okay, okay, I get it. Makes sense. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> no offence, Morgan, but it's the boots. No, it's the boots. <laughs> so, yeah, kilts. We're wearing kilts. Because. Because they look awesome. I, I, can't, I literally can't explain why. <laughs> they look amazing, that's why. Yeah. To be fair, they look amazing. And having my cotton balls swinging through all day, it's been fantastic. Fantastic. How much, how much was the hire of this? How much is it to buy? What does everyone know? <laughs> okay, we're going to turn up to work on Monday with a fucking kill. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> so, so for, anyone, for anyone who knows Jack, or has even spent possibly a day within his company, knows that he loves two things. <laughs> this girl here, and the big C. <laughs> Chinese food. <laughs> Chinese food, this boy right here. And uh, well, to be, to be honest, we all know Joe's, Joe's Chinese, everyone. Yay! Jack, for many years, was his delivery driver for Joe's. Yeah. Joe, well, don't spoil it, because Jack, as a special, special treat for you, I have organized for Joe, everyone. Yay! It couldn't be the best day of Jack Myers' life without a Joe's special Chinese with a handwritten thank you from the people of Joe's. Let me read this over here now. Congrats. Congrats on your marriage. This is a real Joe's Chinese. Shout out to Stephanie for picking this up for us last night. Don't crack us, anyone. Get these in your voice, girl. Come on. Crack it out if anyone wants one. So we've got congrats on your marriage and all the best for your future together. Enjoy every moment of your life. Love, Louise from Jules. Guys, <laughs> round of applause for Jules. There you are, my friend. There you are. And honestly, I nearly, I nearly shit myself when he was like, oh, we're having like, uh, you know, beef, Yorkshire puddings and that. I was like, how are you? How's Joe's not catering your wedding? What's going on here? Joe wasn't happy with a rang for the Chinese, to be honest. Um, so, <laughs> where the fuck am I now? It's hard when you have to turn page because you completely lose your flow. Right, here we go. Yeah, so I've known Jack for 30 years. We've went to school together. We've worked together. We've drank together, we've lived together, but most importantly, we've hot tub together. <laughs> now, you at the back can't see this, but I mentioned hot tub, and Scott McKay's eyes lit up, <laughs> and he's sparring lifted as well. Okay, no. He likes it, he loved the hot tub so much he had a wank in it. <laughs> we found him, we found him three hours later, flew around in Scott's suit. <laughs> I 
would like to say that the hot tub, we invented, we invented the best ever game in the world because of that hot tub. Hand or foot? The aim of the game of hand or foot, for those who don't know, is you close your eyes, you close your eyes, and you've got to guess whether you've got a hand or foot on your lips. But the problem with hand or foot, Jimmy? Sometimes it's a bollock. <laughs> More often than not, it is a bollock. In fact, it's never been a handle. <laughs> but Jack, I mean, we all know Jack. It's disgusting. We all know Jack is a very resourceful man. This is a man who was so dedicated to surfing, when me and him were working together at Starbucks, he heard there was a wave, and he pretended to pass out. <laughs> True story. The problem was, he was on the tills at the time. <laughs> Coffee, all of a sudden, poor guy's face, he ended up looking like Simon Weston. <laughs> Fucking basket, yeah. <laughs> but yes, he's also a man who grew his own man in the back of to invite his friends with that all oh, for a party in college, Lee, remember? Ever remember that? Great party. Three casualties and one liver transfusion. But honestly, great party. A man who Rena, you know this. Three year old girl, Jack. Rena comes into the bedroom, Jack, to tell her how to make a bomb. Recipe, Jack, can you tell the recipe right now? I think it was salt Peter. A uh, chimney suit. Uh, <laughs> so we should we get that? <laughs> any, any, any tool that with a three year old girl? What a role model, eh? What a lovely, lovely lad. Lovely Jack that everyone knows about. Okay, man. This is how you make a bomb, three year old girl. There's Molly there, what do you tell her? You already have done! <laughs> That's not really how you make a bomb. It is. <laughs> Mindful. Inside. Mindful of the speech. A man so dedicated to buy shirts that he buys everyone he can possibly find. He's wearing one now. Two of us, so it doesn't matter because we're Scottish. We're all Scottish, we're the so um, here's a little story that a lot of people might not know about Jack, even the close friends of his might not know this. Joan, do you remember when Jack was a little kid and he was too busy to go to the toilet? What did he used to do? I come down here, what did he used to do? <laughs> Yeah, one small. Peanut cup. <laughs> Handsome Jack used to weigh in a cup. So, Joan was a busy woman. A busy woman who sometimes couldn't find the time to make her own cup of juice. <laughs> oh, so she comes running to the house one day to get a nice, oh, there's a little glass of juice there on the side. <laughs> It was a juice. <laughs> oh, more with never heard this one. Freddy's <laughs> old man, piss. <laughs> his old man. You just married a man who makes his old man make his piss. <laughs> okay, man. The quickest unknown in history. <laughs> but in all seriousness, karma, as it will, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in karma, and it'll come rolling round. So 15, 17 years later, we were at a campsite in France. We had a big night. Who the lads couldn't be asked to walk the toilet block? Phil's laughing already. Who the lads couldn't be asked to walk the toilet block? So I tell you what, I'm just going to piss in a bottle. Why not? We've all done it. The lads in here have all pissed in a bottle at a campsite. So I did it. Well, you're not a lad. I fucking hope you're not a lad. <laughs> Tonight's gonna to be an interesting night for Jack. <laughs> yeah. Call it off. The second quickest 
So anyway, we wake up the next morning, and me and Daddy Jones sitting there going like that. We come crawling out, we come crawling out at 10 in the morning, right? And me and Jack were like, it was like a race for this bottle of like, oh, fucking clamity now, you keep dry mouth for that really thirsty after you have a drink. Race, race for this bottle. And Jack got there first and he cracked it open and honestly, you've never seen someone's eyes when they realise they're drinking a big bottle of piss. Threw <laughs> that one to the floor, jumped on the next bottle, another big bottle of piss. <laughs> jumped on the next bottle, another <laughs> big bottle of piss. <laughs> He went to go to the next one and we were like, Jack, how are you? are not there yet. <laughs> At which point he then walked off and he went and got a bottle of water and that. But the moral of the story for this is, Morgan, yeah. not only is your new husband Jack full of shit, he's also full of piss. <laughs> So in all seriousness, Bit of blue. in all seriousness, you are the best thing that's ever happened in this town. And I hope you all realise that because it is. You've made my friend, my best friend, my brother from another mother, the happiest, happiest man in the world. Look at the look at the smile he's had on his face all day. Can you not agree? <laughs> yeah, not normally. It's Wednesday. He's got a smile, hasn't he? <laughs> Um, Has he opened the jewels yet? Is that why he's smiling? Because he's got a jewel. Yeah. But seriously, um, I'm sorry. I can't wait to see this amazing, amazing marriage blossom. And, uh, the best amazing marriage I know that it's going to be. Although it's going to be very far away unless she wants to move back to England. I'll, I'll come and live with her in Texas, Liz. Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just get everyone on their feet? One last big roll, a big round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Ryan! Thank you! Thank you! Have a wonderful drink now! Have a wonderful drink! Well, what can I say after that? Weren't well, they five fantastic speeches? They were great, weren't they, boys and girls? Absolutely fantastic! Lovely! Wait, guys, Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, the speech.